Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Bonham Radian here at the Navy League's annual Sea Airspace Conference and Trade Show outside Washington, D.C. Uh, in National Harbor, Maryland, where our coverage is sponsored by Finn Contieri, Huntington Ingalls Industries, and Leonardo DRS. And we're over here at the General Atomic Stand to talk to General Atomics's uh, President of Aviation Systems, Dave Alexander. Sir, thanks very much yeah. for taking time for us. Well, thank you. Tell us a little bit, uh, you know, the Navy is looking for uh, unmanned, long-range refueling aircraft to extend the range of reach from its carrier decks. Talk to us a little bit about why your airplane uh, is the one that's the right one, given that Boeing and Lockheed are also in this mix pursuing the contract for the M2, M MQ-25. Well, the requirements have gone through quite a change cycle, and uh, recently it's turned into a tanking program. So we did a tanker trade study. We analyzed uh, in quite depth eight different aircraft and then boiled it down to what you see behind me. And what you see behind me gives the best bang for the buck on the spot on the deck. Gives the most fuel and it's the most efficient and it's driven by what you see behind me here, which is the brand new Pratt & Whitney 815, very efficient uh, turbofan engine. Provides 16,000 pounds of thrust and you can do the math to size up the airplane that you see behind me. But this is the result of a trade study against the requirements and basically, you know, we had to change what we had for you, class. And, and talk to us a little bit uh, in terms of how much fuel you guys are carrying. What's roughly the footprint? You know, what's the size footprint you guys are looking at? It's a little deceptive seeing it. Yeah. Well, we haven't we haven't uh, let go all those details yet, so we're still holding oh, on darn to darn day. Yeah. So they'll be coming out soon. But uh, you you can start from the engine and do some of your own math. Um, but it, it's a it's, good size airplane. It's a big airplane. It's a big airplane, and it holds a lot of fuel. And not only that, for the future, it has very, very long endurance. And the long endurance will bring new missions. It'll bring ISR missions. These are all down the road. Uh, and it'll bring strike. It has two weapons bays or payload bays in it. it can carry uh, other payloads. It could carry a surface search radar. These are all things of the future. The Navy wants to accelerate on this program. We're the accelerated company. We know how to do things fast. And uh, that's, you know, that's really what we're having. Right, talk, to to us about, right, talk to us a little bit about how, because you just mentioned that you guys do have growth margin in the airplane, but you guys have really moved up the food chain, right? It was at first the boutique builder of an Israeli yeah. design, oddball, you know, reconnaissance airplane, and then it became a strike airplane, and then it, and then you guys started moving to bigger aircraft, and now you're looking at, at, at this airplane. Talk to us about the aggressive growth you've had and where you're going to be in the food chain a couple of years from now when it comes to combat aviation and reconnaissance aviation yeah well well the company has grown you know uh, 25 years ago it was you know a handful of people and now we're approaching up to 9,000 employees so if you you know do the math on that it's double digit growth for for all those years and it's because when we have a, a, a really reliable product all our customers are return customers uh, because you know the warfighter comes first for us and we're very connected to moving out in the field. We've got 1,200 people forward deployed. So we feel like we're part of the service. Sir, thanks very yeah. much. Best of luck on the program. Thank you. And looking forward to staying in touch with you yeah. and eventually getting you to disclose some of those details. Yeah. Good. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thanks, thanks a lot. Appreciate it.